Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as was the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night, wherever you guys are out there in the world. So I want to ask you all a very serious question. Do you remember the XRP ETP that was supposed to launch earlier this month? Whatever happened to that? I put out a post on X and I said, I thought there was supposed to be an XRP ETP launching earlier this month. Whatever happened to that? Because this got hyped up for a while and I was anticipating it. I'm sure that a lot of people were anticipating it because this could be a big deal. It all started with this. DeFi Technologies Inc. announces upcoming launch of Valor Inc.'s Ripple XRP ETP and other corporate updates. This is November 22nd. Valor plans to introduce a Ripple XRP ETP on a European exchange in early December 2023, expanding its range of digital asset investment products. The Ripple XRP ETP will allow investors to gain exposure to XRP, the native cryptocurrency of the Ripple ecosystem, through banks or brokers, meeting the growing demand for diverse digital asset investments in European markets. Valor continues to prioritize product innovation and development, and it has plans to list additional traditional and physical or physically uh, backed ETPs in the coming months. Now, of course, we didn't get any major news on this at all. It was just all focused on early December of 2023. And uh, we're now in the end of December, and there has been no update. There's a few quotes within here. The introduction of the Ripple ETP, uh, or a Ripple XRP ETP by Valor, is a significant expansion of our product offerings. Adding XRP to our suit of products caters to the growing demand for the diverse digital asset investments in European markets. These ETPs provide European investors with access to leading cryptocurrencies aligning with our commitment to democratizing and pioneering the digital asset market for traditional investors. Now, I don't know if they have to go through a few things with this in terms of like regulations or what, but I'm very interested to see what's going on with this because I've been waiting on this. And I feel as though a ton of individuals have been waiting on this as well. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But why is nobody addressing this right now? Like the, the space has basically gone silent on this announcement and completely ignored the fact that we haven't seen it announced yet. I was expecting it early December, um, but now we're in late December with zero news, zero update at all. It's basically just disappeared. So I'm very interested on this. And the reason why I bring this back up as well is because now we're talking about XRP spot ETFs. There was a post, and I think that it all started with the crypto basic as well. But what do you see, here's why Wall Street institutions may file XRP spot ETFs. Now, this got posted by an individual on X, Dizer underscore YM over on X, and this was December 17th. And it says, if I were a Wall Street institutional fund and saw that the first mover advantage for Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETF approval is gone, I would want to start thinking boldly and seriously consider filing an application for an XRP spot ETF. Why? Now, the highlights here are down here, which is pent up institutional demand for XRP position. He noted a significant pent up demand amongst institutions to secure regulated positions in XRP. He highlighted the market's rapid response to a fake online post about BlackRock filing for an XRP, which is actually a good one to note considering the fact that the demand was so damn high and XRP surged quickly. He believes the sharp price impact on XRP strongly indicates a demand for XRP ETF, as reported XRP remarkably soared from 66 and a half cents to over 73 cents in less than 30 minutes. Open field for XRP spot ETFs as well. I mean, unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, there's actually no institutional filings around XRP spot ETFs. So it could present a major potential um, first mover advantage for these Wall Street funds. And then also challenging the SEC. Furthermore, he noted that filing for an XRP spot ETF could be a bold move challenging the US SEC after the XRP court ruling. It would be very interesting to watch how the SEC would respond. Specifically, he urged institutional funds with sub, uh, substantial capitalization to consider challenging the SEC by submitting the application for an XRP ETF, daring the regulator to deny it. According to him, the legal development following such a denial would be intense given the court ruling about XRP is not a security. 
Moreover, he also argued that the risk-to-reward ratio for an XRP spot ETF is compelling. In particular, he contended that the prospect of the SEC avoiding additional legal battle battles might favor an XRP ETF approval. Ultimately, he envisions a scenario where an approval or an approved XRP spot ETF triggers both an avalanche and a snowball effect in the market. Now, again, I do think that this is a very interesting discussion. I mean, there's no confirmation of this. There's no discussions of this, but it could definitely get interesting. And honestly, it does make sense. Like, let's be real here, right? Before the VCs pumped Solana and before everything happened around the, the lawsuit, XRP was still the number three largest cryptocurrency. Beyond that, XRP is still in the top 10. It is one of the most sought after assets in the space still to this day. So it does make sense for an ETF to happen around XRP. But will it? That's the big question here. I think a lot of people are still waiting on an IPO from Ripple. One. But I still think that outside of Ripple, because XRP is disconnected from Ripple technically, right? A spot ETF would be a game changer, and it would be pretty big. We also know that XRP was included in the portfolio of Grayscale before the lawsuit. So it might be Grayscale that could possibly do this. If they were interested, of course, we, we still haven't even seen XRP added back to their portfolio. So it's definitely interesting to note this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think that Wall Street, a Wall Street institution will file an XRP spot ETF? I'd love to know your thoughts. But beyond this, talking about ETFs, talking about major moves happening around the ETF space, we've seen um, a video from Paul Barron Network, actually. There was a clip. But you see new all-time high, quarter four of 2024, $100,000 by the end of 2024, and off to the races in 2025. And this is actually from Jeff Ross. Now, again, I'm pretty sure that this is a Bitcoin maxi. I might be wrong on that. Um, but as we really look at a few things, I wouldn't write off the idea of new all-time highs in 2024. I mean, we are practically almost there. So I feel like new all-time highs in 2024, it does make a lot of sense. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, but listen closely to this clip. If the price spikes higher on good news, I would be very concerned that we're going to see a very swift and severe pullback, um, maybe kind of in the 30 to 50 percent or more range sometime around the halving. Uh, and then and then I think that's when the real bull market starts sometime after that. And if you look back at charts and look at past cycles, you'll notice it's actually a little bit disappointing after having people get all jacked up about it. And it's right. super exciting, like a, like it's an event. And then it just sort of happens. And then and then there's a letdown. And then it's yeah. after that letdown where the true bull market starts. So I'm I'm very excited for say August September of 2024. I think that's okay. when the fireworks start. I think we'll definitely be at new all time high by Q4 of 2024. I think we'll probably be above 100k by the end of 2024. And then I think it's off to the races in 2025. Yeah. So there you guys have it. And again, you know this is very interesting considering the fact that you know the market does seem to be erupting. But also, what about the ETFs, right? Because if we do get an ETF approval, there is a time frame between the approval and the going live, right? There's a little bit of a, a delay. During that, de that delay, we usually see a dump on the price. We've seen this even with gold, which I've talked about and I addressed. That could be when we see an approval, which could be a local top. We pull back and then we go. That would make sense in my opinion. And that could be the dump that happens around the halving. That's also where we probably will see an ETF approval. We don't know. But also talking about the ETFs, big, big post actually from XRP Drops. It's a clip from the Paul Barron Network um, interview here. Spot Bitcoin ETFs, they all will get approved within probably a week or two of each other. Whatever product has the lowest fees and offers the best service will succeed. But liquidity is the lifeblood of markets. And if there is no underlying liquidity support, I don't think anything is going to boom. The timing of the market may not be perfect. New all-time highs in quarter four, 2024, 100K by the end of 2024, uh, 2024, which we just recently seen. But listen closely. 
to me, at this point, it's about a coin toss. Will they get it all approved? I do think, by the way, to your point, they all will get approved within probably a week or two of each other. I think it's just going to okay. be kind of one huge batch of approvals. If they do, I don't really see any major advantage to anybody as being the first mover. I think we're going to see quickly within three months, we're going to see maybe 10 to 15 of them being approved. And so it's just going to be whatever uh, people, whatever product people see that has the lowest fees, things like that offers the best service. Um, Will he do it? I don't know. Uh, if he does, I think it would provide a nice impetus. I don't think it is the impetus. Again, I just believe that liquidity is the lifeblood of markets. And if there's no underlying liquidity support, especially in an economy that's trying to grind to a halt and we're, we're heading to these stagflationary conditions, I don't think anything is going to boom. So if we do get a big spike, say say Bitcoin does get approved, we get these spot ETFs approved. I do imagine we would get a short-term spike, but I would be yeah. you know I would be concerned that it's going to fade quickly uh, and and head back down to lower levels. Yeah, this is kind of my position is uh, with ETFs in general, especially a spot Bitcoin ETF is the timing of the market may not be perfect. If if in the case of where he's going to have to make a decision at some point, maybe in, even as early as Q1 of next year. But even at that point, we could be in a much deeper and more dire position, you know, economically, that would only, you know, dictate a little bit slower action on an ETF for a Bitcoin. Now, granted, it might be a great opportunity for BlackRock and others to be able to you know, enter in some very interesting spots in, in terms of Bitcoin as a value. Additionally, you've got some other things happening in the ETF space. Here was James Seyfried from... Now, I actually disagree with the whole ec economic um, you know, status because when we look at the economy as a whole, I feel as though everyone is looking at the $33 trillion in debt and the overall health of the economy, and they're probably looking at other avenues of investing money and pulling their money away from the banks and going into something. I think that these ETFs are kind of a welcoming doormat, if you will, uh, for a ton of liquidity and capital flooding into the market, getting away from the traditional means of investing and getting away from the traditional uh, fiat markets. Because again, as we look at crypto, it's kind of a market of its own. Um, I've always talked about how like one cryptocurrency equals one cryptocurrency, not so much, oh, one equals this in US dollars. But again, that's a narrative that's kind of been spun in the past and it doesn't really work all that well until we actually fully have our own crypto economy, if you will, uh, which I don't think that we will have, right? I still think that we will be tied to USD or whatever the dominant currency is at the time. Um, but I still think that when we look at crypto, I feel as though it's a market that is a massive open door for anyone that sees the value of getting away from the traditional markets, the traditional markets that are underpinned by, you know, those in Congress and those in these political stances that manipulate the markets on a day-to-day -day basis that, you know, go and invest in stocks that they know and have insider information about. So as we really look at these Bitcoin ETFs, I don't think it matters on when they launch or when they get approved. I feel as though the, the retail crowd, those that are actually very smart and intelligent about investing, are most likely going to see a huge opportunity to already be in crypto at the time or welcoming themselves into the market at a perfect time as well. Because again, like I said, I think leading up to the actual ETF launching, the market will most likely go through a little bit of a turbulent time. But I still think that, you know, those out there that are looking into crypto and understand how crucial it is at this point in time to get away from the traditional markets with how much money was printed in the last couple of years with inflation still brewing while we still get lied to by the Fed about CPI reports and things like that. I think that they are going to value, like I said, already being in crypto one or possibly two jumping into crypto. Maybe they come to the realization like, all right, well, maybe the traditional financial world is under siege and under manipulation of, you know, these people in power. So maybe I should go over to crypto. Um, and again, I think that it just provides another opportunity, just like gold and silver and things like that. But beyond this, we also know that the SEC told Spot Bitcoin ETF applicants to submit final changes by the end of next week. So this is a pretty big one as well. And um, a lot of people have been speculating on the fact that, you know, if if these people don't have and when I say people, I, I mean these, these major ETF applicants, these, these funds, if they don't have their, their things in order, well, guess what? They're going to miss out. We actually see over here, this is the Grayscale Large Cap ETF Fund. You see it 
as a collection of top assets, which is also why I said like XRP would make perfect sense here. XLM would make perfect sense here. Um, every fund manager will have many different combinations like this. Each fund has to have its own crypto holdings that backs that specific fund. There won't be just single asset funds. And we have also here, any of the issuers not ready by the 29th of December will not be part of the first wave of ETF funds. The ones who are ready are approved. Done deal, folks. Let's kick this crypto 2024 bull run into high gear. And again, I do think that these ETFs are going to bring an avalanche of capital into this market because, like I said, it provides another great opportunity for the retail investors to jump into a different market and asset class that is completely on its own course. And yes, we have been tied and we've been, you know, directly focused on stocks, working with crypto and things like that. But at the end of the day, I do think that we will make our own moves and completely disconnect from the traditional markets. Um, and I think that as we really look at crypto today, I think it's a huge avenue for anyone that wants to grow their money. Um, again, you always have to do your own research, look into things that are extremely valuable. Me personally, I'm focused heavily on XRP. I don't know if we will get an XRP spot ETF, but it will definitely be interesting to see one. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think about this because I personally think that it makes sense. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on because more free content. You guys are more local. Follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.